Welcome to the last video daily of PowerGen Europe, Renewable Energy World Europe and Nuclear Power Europe 2011. Although this is the last day of the events, there's still plenty of activity on the exhibition floor and in the conferences where knowledge and expertise continue to be shared. There are more than 600 companies here demonstrating their ingenuity. Let's visit some of them. Birch recently won an order for an energy saving boiler. Birch Energy uh, delivers a solution where we have uh, multiple gas turbine exhaust gases onto one single boiler that is producing high and low pressure steam that is used in the process. And this solution allows the customer to operate its plant in the most efficient way, also in part load, and saves investment and maintenance costs. Climax Portable Machine Tools demonstrated their new portable machine tool range at this year's show. This first one is the two-axis CNC uh, boring bar and it's uh, primarily used to help uh, the power generation industry where you can bring this tool on site to the actual turbine or the valve and fix it in place without having uh, a long extended shutdown or a lot of uh, transportation costs associated with the repair cycle. Centrax announced a major partnership with Siemens. The arrangement with Siemens is to package the SGT300 and the SGT400 machine. We will then incorporate it into a Centrax uh, design generator set. We will also support that machine with long-term service agreements. And this is going into the co-generation market in Europe. Uh, so we'll also be looking at extended balance of plant. Capstone Turbine talked about their first vegetable oil fueled co-generation microturbine. What's unique about capstone turbines is they run on air bearings. That's the, the first thing that's, that's unique about them. Secondly, they're very low emissions. We have an annular recuperator, and the recuperator provides efficiency that uh, is beyond non-recuperated turbines. They run on a variety of fuels from natural gas to landfill gas, digester gas, diesel, um, very flexible in their operation. Stork received an award for its innovative laser welding technology. With the laser cladding, the big advantage is that you have a metallurgical fusion between the, 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 the both materials, the base material and the material that you apply it. And uh, that's the same case with, uh, with welding, but in welding you have deformation. So the strong thing about laser cladding is you have metallurgical bonding but no deformation. And so they actually developed the machine such that we can transport it to the customer, to the site and repair in situ. That's a great advantage. Wood Group renewed G-Frame 7FA gas turbine operation and maintenance contract that was valued at approximately $46 million. Let's turn to David Wagman, Chief Editor of Power Engineering magazine, to reflect on this year's Renewable Energy World Europe conference. Thanks, Heather. The green light is on for renewables here at Renewable Energy World Europe in conference sessions all this week, but challenges still remain for the technologies. Transmission is a key issue, being able to bring renewable resources to markets, technology risk with new and unproven types of technologies that have to make their way in a commercial market. Finance is a key issue. Also, regulatory uncertainty needs to be resolved in many jurisdictions across Europe. But opportunities exist for renewable energy. Key among those are the CO2 targets that have been set by the European nations that will require substantial reductions in greenhouse gases below 1990 levels by the year 2050. Also, the pause that seems to be underway for new nuclear construction in the wake of the Fukushima uh, crisis in Japan. But overall, optimism is great for renewable energy here at Renewable Energy World Europe. Heather, back to you. Thank you, David. Renewable energy continues to be at the forefront of people's minds. And the number of exhibitors in this field and the innovative products they have on display confirm this. Let's turn our attention to this industry and see what's been shown on the floor. The name of the, of the project is Helios Core E. In, in this particular project, we, we take uh, uh, the one of the waste products from the whiskey distillation and uh, use them as, as a fuel in, in the boiler. That's a, a, a very interesting project and a prospect for the future, not only in, in the UK but in many places where they have uh, this kind of liquor production. 
Andrews talked about their biofuel boiler order for Paperboard UK Limited. This uh, plant can uh, burn uh, the fuel with high moisture, low moisture, and also is able uh, to handle critical components like uh, alkaline and other issues. One of the most advanced uh, issues in this boiler is the parameter. High parameter, high pressure, and high temperature means efficiency, and efficiency results to the, re the reduction of the fuel amount. Bowman showed their technology that converts waste heat into valuable free energy. The Bowman exhaust gas heat exchanger will transfer energy which is otherwise wasted to create uh, hot water or in fact using ORC systems additional electrical power for generators under one megawatt. For us we're talking about small systems for small accommodations for small industrial plants. Um, and therefore to be able to recover from a megawatt, to be able to recover 300 kilowatts of energy, thermal energy, that's the bonus. The conferences continue to be well attended on the last day of the events. Let's welcome Nigel Blackaby, Associate Editor of Power Engineering International magazine, to hear his insights on the PowerGen Europe conference. Nigel. Well, thank you, Heather. Uh, I think we probably have one of our busiest uh, Power Gen Europe conferences uh, for many a year. And um, if there were three things I think that have come out of it, I'd say that this whole issue of flexible power generation is one that, uh, supported by the new technology that's been displayed on the exhibition floor, is central to what's been happening. Elsewhere in the conference, we've been talking about the opportunities for refurbishment and modernisation of existing power plants. And I think that the third issue is the role of gas fire generation. It, it's relatively cheap, it's relatively clean, and it's going to be the technology that's going to replace the nuclear generation, which now doesn't look like it's going to be happening across Europe in quite the level we thought. So I think those are going to be some of the issues that our delegates are going to go away from here and go back to their offices and, and be talking about for quite some months to come. Thank you, Nigel. With such high standards in the conference papers, it is only right that they are acknowledged and the best awarded. Let's join the celebrations recognising these winners. The idea of writing the paper was to highlight the peculiarity of photovoltaic, the, the main aspect that are very important and uh, to, to give an idea of what are the issues that are connected to each other. That's my first power gen as well, so it's a big, uh, yeah, the first time I'm writing a paper and uh, I'm getting this, so I'm very happy about it. The best way uh, to, to make NDT is uh, to introduce a state of the heart NDT in a maintenance process in order to increase the probability of detection of the defects, reduce the inspection time, reduce the handling operation of the component, the disassembly, the assembly of the component. I'm uh, really happy to have uh, received this uh, award at my first participation at PowerGen like a speaker. My purpose was related to the activities of Italian nuclear industry in the construction of nuclear power plants. This could be strange to say because everybody knows that in Italy we don't have any more any nuclear plants since 86. It's so nice to have paper for these activities because uh, above all in Italy um, my activities as a nuclear engineer is not so well recognized because nuclear doesn't like so much in Italy but I'm, I'm very proud of this prize. So we come to the end of another successful PowerGen Europe, Renewable Energy World Europe and Nuclear Power Europe. We hope you've enjoyed the video dailies which has brought you news and highlights from this year's events. Thank you for watching and see you in Cologne next year. Arrivederci.